What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm doing a little follow-up on the Android 12 Beta 5. Quick little review here, now that I've had a chance to use this for a couple of days. Uh, and I gotta tell you, man, um, this is not a very stable release uh, in terms of being a release candidate. So, Google said that this is going to be a release candidate for Android 12, which means we should get the stable version of Android 12 uh, in the next couple weeks. In the past, the release candidates, the very last beta before the stable release have been very good uh, and Google has been a, done a good job of keeping it, you know, bug free and for the most part, you know, nice to use on your daily de device. That's not really the case here. I showed off a couple little weird bugs in the original video I did. One of those is uh, if you go into home settings and you go into at a glance here and go to customize, you'll notice that all the features that are supposed to be there in at a glance, they're all completely blacked out. I'm running dark mode now because I just can't live without dark mode, but you can see all the things that are supposed to be toggled on the menu. You can't read it at all. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, in addition to that, there's a number of other things that are broken. Some of them, uh, even with Google's own services, um, this is not one I can really demonstrate on video since I'm not in the car right now, but I use Android Auto uh, every day on my way to work and home. And, um, uh, I tried using this yesterday. I've been using the I've been using the Galaxy Z Fold 3 as my my main phone for the car, but since I put it the Android 12 beta 5 on the Pixel 5a, tried to plug in the Pixel 5a, Android Auto just crashes repeatedly um with Android 12 beta 5 on the Pixel 5a. So, uh not a good experience if you use Android Auto. So, if you rely on Android Auto to get you to work and home, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend running this. Um, there's a lot of popular apps where things just kind of crash as well and you can't um, do things that you might want to do. A good example of that is in Facebook. I'll show you if you scroll down and say I want to go to this link here from XDA and I tap on that link. Uh, sometimes these links won't render properly or they won't open. Let's see if I can find one that actually works. Of course, if I'm trying to show something, then it's going to show me out to be a liar here. If you Sometimes if you tap on a link, the links won't actually load uh, into the browser view and, and show you what the content is. Uh, they're advertising sports betting here in Arizona. Crazy, because we just got sports betting legalized. Anyway, that's all over my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram feed. <clears throat> but anyway, lots of issues with Facebook and, and also on Twitter. Uh, if you have previously granted Twitter permission uh, to draw over other apps, which you know sometimes is if you're going in here and you're browsing sort of what's trending. If you want to play a video, it'll ask you to draw over other apps. Uh, occasionally that will also crash your browser as well. So a lot of popular social media apps, obviously a lot of people use Facebook and Twitter, had little hiccups here and there with those sorts of things. Uh, the navigation is, is pretty smooth. I haven't really noticed too many issues there, but in terms of integration with a lot of apps, um, I'm still not a huge fan, as I mentioned, of this huge void of space. It actually looks better on dark mode. I talked about this before, and many people pointed it out. This uh, void of space where the notifications go has been that way since the first beta, um, and that's kind of how Google intended it. Oh, it's not focusing because of the dark mode there. But it looks a little bit better with the dark mode because you can't really see a bunch of white space. I guess maybe it just looks cleaner to me. But not running dark mode, I just don't think it looks very good. Lots of people in the comments last time mentioned that as well. Battery life has been really good on this build. Um, the Pixel 5a is an absolute beast when it comes to battery life anyway, but uh, I've actually just took this off the charger for today, but I've been using the Pixel 5a for two full days uh, on the charge that I had originally flashed the build. I don't remember what it was on, 50% or a little over 50%. I used it for pretty much two full days on 50%. That's how crazy the Pixel 5a battery life is. And, and I actually used it a decent amount. Um, so probably got five or six hours screen on time with half the battery. And that, that's really impressive. So battery life is good. You know, there's lots of, of, of little bugs here and there. Um, some people have complained that the device controls aren't showing up for them here in the, the menu. Uh, and also some people have complained in the issue tracker that they can't see device controls on the lock screen. Um, some other small issues here and there. Um, there is a known list of sort of bugs, and, and there's quite a few that is on the Android 12 Beta 5 page. I'll drop the link below in case you want to check out the other 
known issues. These are just the ones that I've in sort of noticed and experienced myself. It's definitely a usable build of Android, but uh, compared to previous release candidates, I would say it's it's not one that you know is as nice to use. Uh, I would say if you don't mind these little hiccups, you know, there's everything works in terms of most of your essential apps, but some things like social media might be a little more buggy than you would like on a daily basis. Uh, battery life doesn't seem to be impacted in any way. Um, navigation overall is quite good. This is one of the biggest visual changes uh, to Android in quite some time, as we talked about with Material U last time. So since this is a very large change, you probably can expect some bugs here and there, so it's not too surprising. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick follow-up for you guys so you can kind of see um, what the performance looks like and whether or not you want to install it. Again, that's up to you if you can handle these little bugs here and there. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, when there's a full stable version, I'll make a video on that as well. Hopefully, they get a lot of the bugs resolved before it goes to stable. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.